Hi, my name is Rochelle Smith, entrepreneur, professional speaker, and author. Last time I talked about the importance of really appreciating, acknowledging, and celebrating those individuals who believed in you. And continuing on with this whole concept and this theme of the power of belief, this time I wanted to delve into the second aspect, and that is your belief in others. The power of belief and how your belief in others can shape their lives in immeasurable ways. All right, folks, it doesn't matter who you are. You are a leader. You can be a leader. You have leadership potential. And so essentially, those folks who step up in any, whether it be in a, in a workplace, whether it be in a community, whether it be in a school, whether it be in a grocery store, whatever the case may be, those people who step up and express encouragement, belief, wisdom, support, any number of things to other people is something that cannot be understated. All right. So the power of your believing in other people and your ability to, again, rise up to the occasion, rise up to the ability to lead, take ownership of your ability and your leadership role, a potential leadership role in different scenarios and different aspects of your life is so, so important, particularly for people who need encouragement. And folks, we all need encouragement. It doesn't matter who we are. Yes, I pour my life into people. My whole life is about encouraging other people. But I appreciate encouragement myself. So that's true for all of us. We all, all, all appreciate encouragement. In fact, last week I received this lovely, lovely corsage. And uh, basically, and it came from somebody who was like, you know what? You're just such a positive, happy influence, and I certainly appreciate, you know, all you do for us. And, and so it doesn't matter, folks, where you, and this is, you know, basically a few miles from my house, just an activity that I participate in once a month. And so, folks, it doesn't matter who you are. Believe in people. Encourage people. Have a kind word. Compliment people. These are different things that can seem small to you, but can mean the world to other people. And folks, you don't have to have, I often tell people, leadership is not necessarily having a CEO or a former leadership title. In fact, it's something I actually pointed out in my last book that I published on leadership. And that is, true leaders don't need titles. And you always know who those people are. They step up and rise to the occasion. They don't need the formalities of titles. It's just who they are. So you can do the same in being an encourager, being a motivator being a source of support for individuals when they need it, or perhaps even they may need it not even tell you, or perhaps you realize that they need it. But it's just rising to the occasion and really being a source of support to other people. And just like I received this lovely corsage last week, and I was totally smiling, thinking to myself, well, since I graduated high school <laughs> already, it is prom season, but this person said, I know the purple is your favorite color. Um, and so I couldn't pass this up when I saw it and actually smiled thinking that a couple of my alma maters, purple is the main color, which is why I wear and have a lot of purple. But my actual favorite color is red. But I'm still so, so grateful. And it's such a blessing and encouragement to me. But when I think about my own life, and you, you know this is all what I do. I inspire, I encourage, I motivate, I equip, I empower individuals to live their best lives. And so for me, believing in other people is just at the heart of who I am. It's just what I do day in and day out. And it's been that way for a very, very long time. And so when I think about the power of belief, and it could be, you could be a parent, you could be a teacher, you could be a mentor, you could be a coach. Again, there's, as I talked about in last time, there's a multitude of different roles that will enable you to encourage and to really believe in other people and shape their lives. And for me, that has been a mentoring role. And I mentored to something I, that was something I took very seriously for 16 years of my life. I mentored a number, a number, a number, a number of times, 50 million. <laughs> well, that number's a little bit too big, but a number, I number. I mentored a lot of people over those years and was grateful and happy to do so. And I retired last year, but it's something I took so, so important. And I realized that I have a responsibility and had a responsibility now, of course, it's kind of more of one on a macro level responsibility to give back and sow seeds of belief and hope in other people. And that's something that I do with a great deal of passion, because in my case, it's no secret. If you know me, you know this. If you know me a long time, you know this. <laughs> I am a very independent woman. 
I love my freedom. And for me, the concept of getting married and having children is off, it's been off the table for a very, very long time. And so I know while being able to believe and nurture and support uh, kids as a parent was not an option or isn't an option for me. I just love and just absolutely relish my independence. And I know that about myself. And so, but for me, and that was a great impetus and, and the reason why I mentored so many people and mentored for as long as I did, I still felt the need, the responsibility to give back, to encourage individuals, mentor a great number of college students. That's actually probably my favorite type of people to mentor. When I mentored in the past, number, number of college students believed in them, taught them that they can do anything. The world was their lim world was limitless. And, and absolutely loved that. Mentored high school students. That was a very big challenge, <laughs> as you would imagine. And I have I've, I've gained a greater level of respect for parents after dealing with those high school students and their drama and their issues. But I certainly grew a lot as a result of that particular experience and that form of mentoring. And then, of course, mentoring you know other adults, whether it be some type of consulting or just kind of being there as a support for individuals. But anyway, 16 years of my life was something I took very seriously. And so folks, you may be like me and say, well, you know, I'm not a family person. I'm kind of doing my little, my thing independently. You can still mentor, you can still coach, you can still teach, you can still encourage, you can still inspire, you can still motivate. There are still countless opportunities for you to make a difference in the world and believe in other people. And it doesn't have to be kind of outside or outsiders or strangers. It can be within your workplace, within your church, within your community. And there are countless ways that you believing in other people is possible. And for those of you who are parents, you heard me say last time, last time how I talked about the value and the roles and the immeasurable impact that my parents had on me. And I encourage you to do the same. Speak hope, vision, success, victory, happiness positive things into your children's lives. And I assure you, just their ability to manifest those realities and what they've been taught and what they've been told and what they've heard will, will really, really impact their life in a positive way. And so folks, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what your circumstances are. We all have a responsibility as card-carrying members of the human race to believe in others. Okay, the power of belief is huge, 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 huge in terms of us being interconnected as individuals, is us really hoping and seeing, wanting to see other people reach and rise to the next level. Folks, you can be the catalyst of positive change in another person's lives. How does that sound to you? There are countless lives that can be impacted by you and you alone. Are you up for the challenge? Are you up for the responsibility? Do you believe in yourself enough? And actually, this is gonna be the final segment I'll talk about last time, I'm gonna, next time, going to talk about the power of believing in yourself. Big one, big one, big one. Because if you don't believe in yourself, we can't give away what we don't have. So if you don't believe in yourself, it's going to be almost impossible for you to believe in other people. And this is where you will hear people who say, well, you know, my parents taught me I couldn't do anything. My parents never taught me anything positive. They taught me I was worthless. But that's because in many cases, those parents had internalized those same negative lies about their own lives. So they had internalized that about themselves and given that to their children. Because again, we can't give away it if we don't have. But so we all need to work on our confidence, make sure that we are confident individuals that can go around pouring hope, success, wisdom, confidence, courage, good things, positivity, happiness into the lives of other people. Because it all truly starts with belief, but you've got to believe in yourself in order for it to do so. It's truly a multiplier effect because we can't give away what we don't have. And so, folks, I look forward next time to really delving into this so important topic of believing in yourself. But in the meantime, believe in others. Take a moment to express your belief formally and formally. Regularly do it often. Don't take those opportunities for granted because you have the ability to impact a life, many lives, and you have the ability to be a world changer. But you've got to believe that you have the ability to do it and you have what it takes. So thanks so much for your time. Make it a wonderful day.